This year's Patient Family Donor Day will be quite different, obviously, because it is virtual. Still, it is about connecting with fellow patients, fellow carers, fellow donors. It's about the latest scientific trends and it's also about the communication between EBMT personnel, uh, clinicians and, of course, their patients. I really think that uh, it's, uh, it's important to share my experience with uh, all of uh, patients, family, and I would like to as well help the research development, the treatment management, and the family and patients. I'm always very excited about the Patient Family Donor Day because I think it's an excellent opportunity for us to meet a broad variety of patients. On the one hand, it allows the patients to better express their needs to us and on the other hand, it allows us uh, to bring to the patients our thoughts. The virtual Patient Family Donor Day will be quite different this year because it is virtual and obviously we cannot connect face to face. It will be live for two hours and moderated throughout and everybody is invited still to ask questions and to connect with the, with the speakers and the professionals. Because it is virtual, many more people are able to join, not just from the location, but from all over the world. And what we see is there are registrants from Mali to Sweden, from Australia and to the United States, even from Korea. So we really welcome everybody who is new. Agnes Suissan will be talking about her patient journey um, about the impact it had on her life and self from the moment she was diagnosed with a rare hematological disease and delayed effects, for example, the effect of corticosteroid steroids. Uh, I think it's important to share details of what I, I was uh, experiencing during this uh, long uh, uh, period. I was uh, transplanted in 2014. The bone marrow transplantation experience is something heavy. Uh, don't try to understand everything, but really never give up. Trust your hematologist, trust uh, the nurse, and get support from uh, your family, because it's a long way to succeed. So never give up, be positive, and don't listen to so many people. As every year, the Patient Family Donor Day addresses um, new scientific trends. So this year we have invited Jürgen Kubel to talk about CAR-T, which is a new form of immunotherapy. CAR-T is uh, an exciting development, a true game changer in the field for patients, um, because this is a new class of living drugs uh, which uh, increases the chance of cure for patients. Patients need to understand on the one hand that they are custom made for each patient, that's a very complex process, so not for all patients these drugs can be made. They need to understand why prices are so extensive at the moment, but also understand efforts of, of academia to make the drugs affordable and accessible uh, to each patient. Patients need to understand side effects um, and patients need to understand that sharing data, also sharing their data with the community in Europe is very important. On the one hand for uh, EMA, the authority who approved the drugs to understand toxicity, but also for us as healthcare professionals. If you are interested to access and attend the Patient Family Donor Day this year, just go to EBMT website, Patient Family Donor Day, and there you can register for free. Feel welcome, we're happy to see you.